Alright guys, in this video I'm about to show you how you can create a custom post type filter by a custom taxonomy for your WordPress website. And specifically we're going to talk about doing it for black themes. For example, we have a website right here and we have a 2024 default WordPress black theme installed over here. And if you scroll down a little bit this home page, we can see that we have this post section over here. And we also have some kind of navigation below. And if you just click on previous page or next page, you can see that this uh, navigation works without page refresh. And our custom post type filter is also going to work without page refresh. And right now we have just regular WordPress post displayed over here and we're gonna replace uh, them with custom post types. All right, let's just go to our admin dashboard. And first of all, I wanted to show you my custom post types and custom taxonomies. Usually I create uh, this stuff in the code, but I know that many of you guys love advanced custom fields plugins. So I decided to create both custom post types and taxonomies using ACF. So if you just go to post types over here, we can see this coffee places post type created and uh, this specific custom taxonomy is assigned to this custom post type. And this is our custom taxonomy. And we can see this custom post type in our admin dashboard over here in the admin menu and custom taxonomies, right? Okay, now we need to go to the plugins and install and activate my taxonomy filter block plugin. Yes, that's actually the plugin we are going to use to create this Ajax custom post type filter. And the next we just go to the appearance editor and we need to change this home page. So you can just click it like this. Then we scroll down to this post section over here. And first of all, let's just change this regular, po regular posts with custom post types. In order to do so, we need to select this query loop block. You can do it from here or you can just find it over here. So for example, now I have it selected query loop block and we, we need to go to this block settings and change the query type to custom and change post type to custom post type. Yes. And here we go. Now we have our custom post type displayed right here. And I believe we also have just regular categories displayed here. Maybe we can change them to custom taxonomies, right? Okay, we go back here, categories. And um, I guess we just need to add a new block. That's actually an optional step. Okay, taxonomies series. Great. Now our custom taxonomy is displayed here and we can just remove these default categories from here. And um, yes, and now it's time to add a filter, right? And in order to do so, we need to add it inside the query loop block as well, but not inside the post template. So we can just click this navigate navigation menu and I mean like just menu, right? <laughs> and hit add before. And now we can uh, just uh, select our taxonomy filter block from here. You can just start to type its name, for example, and here we go. And as you can see by default, the standard WordPress categories are displayed and let's change it over here in the block settings to series. Okay. And if you want, you can also change the filter, how it looks. For example, we can display it as links, as buttons. Okay, let's just display it as links and use this show post counts option. On that, save. All right, and let's go take a look at our page. So we go back here, scroll down a little bit. And now we can see that we have our custom post types displayed over here. And we also have this custom post type by taxonomy filter over here. And if we just click any city over here, we can see that it works without any page refresh, right? And this kind of navigation to the next page 
also works together with the filter. So everything is working. All right, guys, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them below this video. I'm also gonna leave a link to this plugin in the description below. On that, have a nice day, bye.